Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thank you for clicking and watching. Today I'm gonna to be planning for the week of Monday, December the 9th through the 15th in my Vertical Neutral Aaron Condren Life Planner. This is the 2019 to 2020 academic year, so I do have plenty of more planning um, in this planner to go. And the kit I'm gonna be using this week is going to be a little interesting because I'm not using a kit this week. I am using several shops this week. So this is a few sheets that I received from last year's Hello Simple Paper Advent Calendar. I held on to these because I felt like, you know, despite them not being um, outright Christmassy, they don't say Christmas anywhere, anything like that. They just gave me too much Christmas vibes to use after Christmas. So, and I don't want to like waste them, you know, like I paid for them. So I decided to hold on to them and use them this year. This, however, um, this, these ones irritated me a little bit the most because, um, I mean, obviously it would be great for somebody like who's using a smaller planner, a sheet like this would be perfect. But, um, you know, if you're not going to give people the choice of like a size and they could pay more for or a Condren size or I don't know something, then it's like, this is like, what am I going to do with this? This is not enough for my planner you know what I mean so that kind of irritated me a little bit and then it's like yes I get it not everybody uses an Erin Condren but it's like you know if you're gonna give me a sheet that's not a kit like I don't include like a full box like could you just do more functional things like more half boxes and stuff and then that way I could pull them into other spreads that I do have full kits for I don't know so that kind of irritated me like this I've got a bunch of full boxes but it's like you know I don't have bottom washi I have like two half boxes here like so I was like, what am I going to do with this, you know? So we're going to get creative. I'm going to combine these two and then this little tiny, like basically freebie size uh, sheet so that hopefully I have enough here. If not, I've got my own functionals to work with. Um, I'm going to be using my own bottom washi, all that kind of stuff. So let's see how this turns out. Hopefully I like it. So this is called um, Be Inspired by Two Little Bees. Hold on, I got sneeze. Excuse me. So anyways, I've never made a purchase from Tulubies before. So this is the first time I've had anything from Tulubies. Um, but obviously I've heard of her shop before. So you get seven full boxes. Um, and then there's like these, I don't know, I guess they're kind of like header size strips. There's only four of them though. So I'm not going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, and then you've got three quarter boxes, two half boxes, and then a few pieces of deco. And then on this sheet, I have another full box. So I can at least do eight full boxes. Um, this is by Virgo and Paper. So you've got a couple flags and then you've got a checklist there, which I'm going to use this in the, these checklists in the sidebar. You've got two half boxes and some icons and a few headers and some deco and a few functional things you could use here and a habit tracker. And then there's a few kind of quarter box sized items there. And then this was also in the calendar. This was a little TLC designs. Um, so I planned on maybe using, um, maybe the bill dues and uh, the weekend banner. And then there's a few little, you know, they're smaller than half boxes clearly, but um, you know, I could use them for something. Um, there's a few little checklists. And then I don't know exactly like, what is this supposed to be? Because I mean, I guess you could write in it, but it's got a pretty bow. So it's like, I kind of don't really want to write in it. And then I don't like, I don't like writing on things when it's not opaque in the center like this, because then it makes it harder for you to read the writing. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, <laughs> this is what I'm going to be using as my kit today. I'm also, like I said, I'm going to be bringing in a lot of my own functional items. I might need more half boxes. So I've got a couple from Korea or Cozy Paper Co. Um, I'm going to be using my own bottom washi. So I do have these um, in, um, I'm going to be using silver foil this week. Uh, it's like a bottom washi strip that Cozy Paper Co. sells. I'm going to be using some Cozy Paper Co. headers in silver just for the top. Um, I'm going to be using, um, date covers and date dots by Cozy Paper Co. Since the kits don't come with any. I'm also going to be using a few, um, full box overlays to give it a little shine. These are again, my Cozy Paper Co. And then I do want to bring in some layering elements, but if I do bring those in, then I'll show you when I bring them in. Cause I don't know if I'm going to or not. And then of course, in my sidebar, I always mark, uh, my little grateful for section. So I'm using a grateful for sticker by Cozy Paper Co. as well. Um, so, um, tons of Cozy Paper Co. Um, I do PR for her, so I have lots of stickers. Just mention my name in the notes and you'll get my freebie if you want to shop from Cozy Paper Co. Anyways, so let's get started. Here's a glimpse of last week in my planner. 
And this beautiful kit is by uh, The Crafty Banana, which is another kit that we received in last year's advent calendar, except she included like a three page, you know, like mini kit. So I did have the bottom washi, I did have enough full boxes, and there was even a couple of half boxes thrown in there as well. Um, so, but I did pull in, you know, a lot of my own half boxes and um, my own header, date, uh, date covers and headers. And um, I think she provided the checklist on the Monday through Sunday. So that was great. Um, so I used some checklists in here too from her. Oh, she had a moving marquee too. So yeah, this was a pretty good kit. Obviously, as you can see, three pages. I do need to bring in a lot of my own stuff, but um, it's still totally doable. Like if you, you know, just want to write in the paper and use like some icons like or something, whatever, then she's got most of the base of the kit here. So I really appreciate that. And I love these colors, this pink and this deeper, I don't know, blue, gray. <laughs> it's not teal. I don't know what to call it. Um, and then the brown and the hot chocolate weather. Love it. So yeah, this is again another kit I saved because while it doesn't say, it doesn't scream Christmas really anywhere, I just, you know, to me, I don't tend to use like snowflakes and sugar plums and I, after Christmas, I don't really drink hot chocolate after Christmas. I only drink it before and around Christmas because I don't like to drink my calories. So it's a treat for me, you know, I don't, I, when I'm, when it's, um, cold weather, I tend to just drink tea or coffee. So, um, the hot chocolate is special. That's for like Christmas only to me. Maybe not for you. Maybe you could use this in January, but not for me. So, but I love it. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to lay down the base of the kit, my bottom washi, my boxes, and my headers, and do the sidebar while I recap, uh, not this week, that's Thanksgiving, <laughs> while I recap, wow, what a transition, huh? <laughs> this is a beautiful week from last week. I'll speed it up and voice over that part, and then, and then when we get to Monday, I'll slow it down, and we'll talk day by day. So let's get started. So on Monday the 2nd, I uploaded the plan with me from the Crafty Banana for last week. Um, I also had my in-laws, um, they dropped off my son at my work since my father-in-law bowls, um, for his league every Monday. So they just drop him off with me on their way to the, the bowling alley. Um, I was supposed to go to the post office, but I actually ended up forgetting the orders at my house. I have to take them with me to work in order to, after work, go immediately to the post office. And if I leave them at home, by the time I get home, I, I won't have time to go to the post office because of how long it takes me to get home. So I put that in my planner, but I forgot to go. So I actually ended up going Tuesday. I just didn't mark it. Um, so since I had, you know, realized I forgot, I figured, um, I would go ahead and stop by Walmart with my son. Um, cause I think we needed to get a few groceries that, um, I was not able to pick up on Sunday. And then I also placed a large order for, um, a good bulk of our Christmas shopping because it was Cyber Monday. So I did, um, what did I do? I, I bought, uh, Best Buy stuff, Michael's stuff, Vans stuff, and some stuff from Amazon. And that's not even half of the shopping. Jeez. I still have to go. I planned, um, on finishing my shopping. I think maybe this weekend we do most of our shopping online. There's only a few things I have to pick up at the store, but I could probably do that later on. But anyways, like as far as online shopping goes, like, you know, that is like, you have to wait for it to ship. So obviously I'm like, I need to hurry and get that done, you know? Um, so then on the third, on Tuesday, I filmed, um, or no, just kidding. I was supposed to film my December plan with me, um, but I didn't because I had to go to the post office. <laughs> so I went to the post office instead. Um, then my in-laws did have, um, a, a new faucet to put into our sink, which was so kind. And then they, the, the whole bathroom looked so new. I had to mark it in my planner because, um, my mother-in-law put up, uh, some Christmas, um, shower curtains and like a uh, little, um, snowflake bath mats and it looked so pretty. Um, and then they cleaned off the sink and then they put the new faucet in and they installed a new towel rack because my son broke the old one. It was just so pretty looking. And then we had this fun idea since he had the Christmas shower curtains. My son and I later on took some um, plastic ornaments that I had gotten last year and um, just as like decoration around the house in like a centerpiece or I was going to make a wreath out of them, but that was kind of a fail because I, it worked but I didn't realize the weight of the other ornaments pushing down on the ornaments would pop a bunch of ornaments off of the little, you know, spring thing. So 
you would have to like hot glue each and every one. And then that was just like, I didn't have the patience for that. So it was kind of a fail, but it would have worked if you um, could make sure that your ornaments weren't going to pop off of the um, ornament hook, you know, from the weight of all the ornaments on top of them. So we took those leftover ornaments and we hung them up on the shower curtain hooks and it looks so cute. Like there's just a bunch of little ornaments hanging off of his shower curtain hooks. Um, and it's just so pretty. Anyways, um, so that was Tuesday. I also made sure to uh, do my nails that day because I didn't do them over the weekend. And then I had to catch up on unboxing my advent calendar. It had been like three days behind. I placed an order with Cozy Paper Co. And then I did need to post on, on my Instagram. So I had a little checklist to do on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, my son had choir in the morning as usual. Um, I was supposed to edit my uh, December plan with me, but I didn't film it. Um, so th that didn't happen. <laughs> it also rained on Wednesday too. Um, so since I didn't have a video to edit, I decided to stop by um, Ulta and Target because I needed some more mascara and some dry shampoo um, and some vitamin C serum and body wash, shampoo and conditioner, and some like of the, I use the CeraVe AM moisturizer because it's got the SPF in it, so I use that every morning. I was very upset to see that it was actually like six more dollars at Ulta than it was at Target because I went and got it, I went to Ulta first and I got it there because I thought it would have been cheaper at Ulta since they're like, you know, their specialty is makeup. It should be cheaper than getting it other places because then otherwise, why would I go to Ulta for makeup if I could get it cheaper somewhere else? And yeah, lotion isn't makeup, but you know, makeup, skincare, like that's their thing, you know? Um, and I had a $5 uh, coupon too. So I was like, okay, I'll just get it at Ulta. And Target's not known for being like cheap, you know, except for the dollar spot, pretty much nothing at Target is known for being cheap. Yeah, they got cute stuff, but it's not like you're like, oh, I go to Target when I'm on a budget, you know, like they're not, they're not cheap. <laughs> so I was like, it's probably more expensive at Target. I'll just get it at Ulta. And then I go to Target and it's like $6 less, which with the $5 coupon, you know, it was still, it wasn't that much, but it was still like a, a dollar something less even, and, and that's be, only because I had the $5 coupon. So I was like, what the heck? I was hella salty. Um, so yeah, not cool Ulta. <laughs> um, anyways, and so that was what I did on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I was supposed to upload my December plan with me, but again, I didn't even film it. So that didn't happen. Um, it did rain again. Sorry, I'm trying to stop yawning. Um, I pre-planned for the next week. Um, in my planner and then I also had gave one of my coworkers a ride home so I wrote that in my planner actually um, wrote that she asked me on like Tuesday if I could give her a ride home on Thursday so I actually put it in my planner you know then I didn't it wasn't a, uh, a memory keeping thing I just was like okay I gotta remember I'm taking you know I'm taking her home on Thursday <laughs> so I put it in my planner so I gave her a ride home and then on Friday it was Cozy Paper Co's Foil Friday which was exciting uh, because I placed a large order because she had the Galentine's collection up. So that is still in the shop currently. Um, all of the like pretty, um, you know, Valentine's y colors and the, gal the Valentine's kits and stuff. Um, and so then I was also supposed to film my uh, plan with me for, you know, this week that you're watching right now. Um, I, but I feel like I didn't film it on Friday. No, I didn't. I filmed it on Sunday. So I don't know why I didn't do that. I did have a dentist appointment after, um, after work. Well, actually I had to leave work a little early. Um, just like an hour and a half early, but yeah, so I had to go and get my cleaning done. I don't know. And then I, why didn't I do it? So then I came home and then, I don't know. I, 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 uh, oh, Wait, no, no, no. Darn it. I was going to say, oh, that was my husband's party. No, that was Saturday. I don't know why. I'm just lazy and I don't stick to the things I need to stick to. Um, and then Saturday, it rained again a little bit. Not a whole lot. The, the the Wednesday and Thursday was much more rain, but Saturday was like a sprinkle. Um, my son had bowling in the morning as usual every Saturday. I also had to work, and this was the last day that I'm going to be working for the college on Saturday um, for the rest of the semester since the... Um, tutoring in the school the semester's ending so everything's closing down and then we're not going to reopen again until the spring semester which is like the end of January so I'm gonna have like a whole month off it's exciting like a month and a half 
Um, you know, no pay is not exciting, but it's exciting to um, have so much you know, time off because I normally work six days a week. Uh, anyway, so I did that. Um, and then as soon as I got home, I had to get ready for my husband's work party because uh, we were supposed to be there at 630. We actually showed up late, but it was still like dinner hadn't started yet. So it was fine. Um, but yeah, I dropped, we dropped off my son over at my in-laws house and he was going to stay the night there since we were going to get home late. So I got ready to go and then we went to his work party, which is always really fun. They have a totally free open bar, everything, beer, wine, spirits. Um, and then they provide appetizers, um, if you get there before seven, which we, we luckily when we got there, I did manage to get an egg roll and it was a vegetable egg roll cause I don't eat meat. So I don't know if they had other appetizers, um, probably ones I can't even eat because they probably hadn't eaten them anyway. But yeah, I just walked in. They just asked that you bring a toy donation. So we brought two toys and um, we were about to go get a drink. And then one of the waiters asked if I'd like an egg roll. And I was like, sure, <laughs> what's in it? <laughs> um, so we did get one little appetizer there. But then, yeah, it's really fun because they play good music. And like I said, it's an open bar and they have a photo booth. So we took photos and they raffle off prizes and of course they provide dinner so it's really fun um and then on sunday which is the day uh today that i'm filming this or recording this voiceover <laughs> um i was supposed to go get groceries but we ended up kind of not getting everything done that we need to get done so we're not going to get groceries today unfortunately we're probably gonna have to do that monday uh but i am going to kind of help clean up the house a little bit with my husband and we're going to meal plan um, and hopefully I'll be able to have a chance to plan with my son before, like, we're going to go to my in-laws house tonight, um, cause we didn't do it Saturday cause of the work party. So hopefully after we get home, I'll have a chance to plan with him really quick. Um, and then I will write in whatever movie we're going to watch cause we always watch a movie over there. So that's fun. We might even watch an episode of the Mandalorian. We already, we've only seen one, so maybe we'll get to see the second one if we have time. Um, and then that's it. That's all we're going to do for Sunday. So I did procrastinate this weekend, but we're going to get most of it done tomorrow on Monday. So anyways, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and get started with Monday. Um, I did not initially intend on doing this double layering with silver and pink foil, but I saw the pink foil and I was like, you know what? This might look really cute. And I'm like obsessed. I love it so much. And it's like, plus when are you going to really use pink foil? Um, during December probably never <laughs> you know like I, I feel like I save it for like Valentine's Day so I am loving how that turned out okay so let's start with Monday I need to open my planner um and move all the splashy out of the way that would be great all right so starting with Monday I need to upload this video so I'm gonna be taking a, a triple arrow from my newest addiction and pointing it up for upload and I think I'm going to take a little play button from Rose Colored Days. Oh, by the way, um, since I did kind of do the other um, overlays last minute, I didn't mention this bow pink um, overlay down here. And then this pink overlay are both from Rose Colored Days from a little sampler that I received uh, from, I don't know, from an order I got. <laughs> so I didn't get to mention that. And then those other, whoops, the like silver corners and the pink corners, those were um, um, Cozy Paper Co. Oh, and then this star one that I wanted it to look kind of like snow falling. It's so gorgeous. That is from uh, The Giving Girl. And that's Cozy Paper Co. as well. It just frames the hot chocolate so perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, okay, so anyways, I need to upload this video. Um, then I also need to actually, no, never mind. I don't need to film that because I filmed it today. Yay, I'm going to cross that off. Um, I was going to film my November haul, but I decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it today. All right, so never mind to that. That is it for Monday. Then moving on to Tuesday. <sighs> Let's see. Tuesday, I think I'm going to go ahead and upload that November haul. So I'm going to do another upload, but I don't want to like do them back to back. So instead, oh, let's put our bill due in. So I've got bill due on here. Yeah, I've got a bill due right here for who am I paying? Paying. Um, oh, I have a bill due on Monday as well. But then I have more, oh, I have more bill dues and then just two of them. Um, you know what? Whatever. Let's go ahead and put this bill due here. Got to pay the energy bill. And then on... Monday, I got to pay the um, gas. So let's just put both of those there. 
Okay. So then it was back to Tuesday. So I've got to do that and then I'll go ahead and put the upload since it's kind of, it's not right next to it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do the same thing again. And whoops, wait, where did I, I didn't even get it. Okay. And I'll put it a little bit lower. So that way if I want to squish something else in there, I can. Okay. And then my son is going to have tutoring, I think, right? Hang on. I, I am... Let me double check real quick. Oh, and then I said my son has tutoring. I forgot. So, um, he's got tutoring Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Um, but yeah, I always put that box down there. I was going to say, maybe I could just use it this time and just put tutoring in there with the little hexagon because it kind of matches the kid a little bit. But, um, I always covered up Thursday. Wait, what if I moved it up? No, oh, I don't want to because of the, oh. How did, wait, ah, it keeps coming off. Dang it. Maybe I should get a fresh piece because that piece was maybe not as sticky. It's always like um, not as sticky if it's been sitting up like that. So I'm gonna go deep into the roll this time like that. And then none of that has been exposed to the air until now. So there we go. Hopefully that sticks better. Um. Dang, I was going to lift it, but then I got the overlays on it, too. And that's going to be harder to do. What should I do instead? Hmm. Okay. Mm. Where am I? Oops, sorry. I didn't see that. Um, let's do... I could do two of these and then... Um... One of these, maybe. Oh, I wish I had that smaller box. That'd be perfect. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> okay, let's just use these. I'm going to use these two ones for tutoring. And I'm just going to, well, I don't want it to be right up against that pink. So actually, I will move it up a little. And then that way it can write something else below it. So let's do like, I don't know, let's do it, yeah, let's do it in the middle. We'll put some, oops, we'll put something above and below it. And then this tutoring, I'll just put like right up against it because I don't mind the contrast is better. He's got um, free math tutoring from the school to help them because he does have um, resource for math, so he could use a little extra help, so I appreciate it. Then, um, anyway, so that's it for Tuesday. So then for Wednesday, he's got choir, which I finally have choir stickers for. Hang on, where'd they go? <laughs> um, you haven't seen the haul yet, but I did haul them, I did film it, and that will be up, um, like I said, on Tuesday when I show my uh, November haul. I will show my music stickers from Magic Prince Co. So happy. So he's got choir on Wednesday. And he also has practice. Um, he has before, practice in the morning and in the afternoon on Wednesday and on Thursday because Friday they're performing for the talent show. So I think it's, it's going to interfere with his with his tutoring a little bit, but um, he can go to tutoring after choir, <clears throat> after choir. So that's fine. But his normal choir practice is every Wednesday morning before school. <clears throat> so for that, let's do these two little, these should be fun. Let's do these. I'm going to put it right in the middle. See, this is, this is kind of fun because I'm, you know, doing stuff I don't normally, don't normally do. So, you know, you never know if you're going to like something unless you try it. So that's for his choir practice in the morning. Um, and then I need to pre-plan for next week. Um, so I'm going to use my bow clips, um, in silver foil from the Giving Girl. And I'm going to use, I think, either one of these colorways. I feel like this one matches pretty well. So let's just use that one. And we'll just put it right here so I can write in pre-plan. It's also a full moon. So I've got my uh, full moon trackers from Aurora and Avalon Creations. 
who I do PR for. So you can just use my code MOONPRISM to save 25% and you'll also get my, forgive me, I had to sneeze and cut myself off. <laughs> you'll also get my moon phase freebie. Now, usually I would put <clears throat> a full moon like at the very, very bottom because you know, it's like at night and I kind of sort of plan chronologically, but I'm just gonna put it above tutoring because whatever, it's technically a full moon all day. <laughs> um, so there's that. <clears throat> so then, oh, okay, that's it for the first half of the week. Cool, cool, let's move on to Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Okay, so for Thursday, he's gonna have Choir and tutoring again, and I also have another bill due I have to pay. So I'm gonna use first the bill due. I'm gonna use these cute little bill due icons from Cozy Paper Co. It's just a pink envelope says bill due, and I got those from <clears throat> from a one dollar Wednesday, but it was uh, they're they're a bigger sheet than her usual one dollar Wednesday because um, it's not foiled. So and I want to layer that with um or no, let's put it. Uh, do I have a box I could use? Because I haven't really been using a lot of boxes. I always tend to stay away from the boxes when I know I don't have a lot. Or a check, no, because I only have one bill. But Friday, I've got a lot more. Friday is checklist worthy. So let's use, oh, I want to use a bow because they're pretty, but then I'm using this too. Um, Let's just use a, a plain one, I guess. No, let's use the other color. Oh, look at that. This is, I just noticed, look at this little thin, thin thing. You could, uh, she cut out. <laughs> you could use that for something, but uh, I don't know what yet. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to mark up the bill due. I have to pay Weight Watchers. That's crooked. Uh, there we go. Okay. And I don't know if I, yeah, I did mention that I paid for Cozy Paper Co. when I was listing all that Cozy Paper Co. stuff. I care for Cozy Paper Co. Um, so that's for the build due and then choir and tutoring. So let's put that at the bottom again, but this time let's use this box, this, some um, quarter box, I guess. And we'll put that there. Usually I would put this for tutoring basically, but I guess, I guess for Tuesday, Wednesday in that box, I'll write choir and tutoring because they're both after school stuff. So We'll do that. Um, let's see. I want to get rid of these lines. Dot things. And okay, and that's it. So for Friday, we've got much busier stuff going on. So for Friday, I'm gonna use a half box. Um, I don't know if I want to use this one. I feel like it's the one that stands out the most is like not matching. That matches that though, kind of. Hmm, and I could use that with it. I haven't yet though, so let me see if I can avoid it. I'm gonna use the mittens. No, wait, the mittens are right there. Maybe I'll save the mittens for like over here somewhere. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I like them to be a little further away, you know? Let's go ahead and, oh, let's use one of these. These are cute. So I'll do this one with the bow it's for the talent show so he's got his little talent show which is there anything i want to put before that um hmm. oh my gosh what what order do i want to go in maybe it'd be easier for me if i start at the bottom because i'm not quite sure yet so let me work my way up <laughs> okay sorry so I know Friday is our trash eve, so I'm gonna put that at the bottom of the day. And I've got my little trash at Can Icon, but I've got a hollow foil, because I don't have silver. And this is like an icon sampler from Cozy Paper Co. from like a $1 Wednesday. So let's do, um, the, let's do this with it. Again, it's like right next to that pink, but like, I don't, I'm kind of just starting to not care because I feel like it's going to be inevitable anyway, you know? Like I said last week, when you're using a kit that's just got a few primary colors, it's obviously going to, they're going to be next to each other at some point and you just got to get over it. So that is for Trash Eve. Um, then my son also has soccer practice every Friday. So, um... Let's just use my soccer practice sticker from Sticker Insanity. Um, 
this is a shop, another shop up here for. You just mention my name in the notes and you'll, you'll get my freebie. So let's do that. Okay, so he's got his soccer practice. All right, so he's got soccer. Oh, another important thing. I need to, um, actually, let me, use a little, bleh, let me use another bow clip for that. I like to use those as like reminders. Um, I need to start opening my two advent calendars that I'm not opening yet, which is Simply Gilded and Creativity and Ink. Uh, those began on, well, actually with Simply Gilded, she's really just given us free reign to open them whenever because I haven't seen any instructions on what day to start on and what number to start with. But I decided I would start on the same day as Creativity and Ink because hers goes from the 13th through um, the 24th. So um, I'm going to use a little bow clip for a reminder. Um, should I use the same color or should I use, let's use this one. And that will be to remind myself to open those calendars up because I'm so excited for those calendars. Um, so then, okay, got trash, I got soccer, I got that. Now, it's also Friday the 13th, but I don't know if I can, uh, if I can really afford to squeeze that in anywhere. Um, I do need to film. Let me put that right there. So again, I'm going to be taking my usual little arrows here, but I don't mark them up this time because it's not an upload. I'm just going to mark it this way. And I'm going to use a Cozy Paper Co. camera icon with a little tiny silver bow in the middle in the lens. It's so cute. Um, for marking filming, even though I don't really film on my camera because I don't have a camera. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so then that leaves the talent show, Foil Friday, and my bills. So let's see if we can squeeze it all up here, shall we? So I want to use this for the talent show because he's going to be performing and it's going to be like super cute. Let's just get all the way at the top. Usually I like to leave a little sliver of white like this, but not with Friday. And let's use another one because I'm obsessed. I already used one in my monthly, so that's why I want to one is missing. Okay, so he's got his little talent show. And then um, Foil Friday. Hey, and then Foil Friday is... Um, a special a Friday release that Cozy Paper, Co do, Cozy Paper Co. does every week. And um, uh, and then you get these little sheets that are um, like this, like a sheet of half boxes or something for $1.25 if it's premium mat or $1.50 on the clear paper. So it's a really great deal. Hmm, because I need to fit in my bills and I have one, two, three, four bills due, but I only have a three heart checklist and that's going to take a good chunk of the day there. So I'm trying to think if I could put full Friday right here since there's an open space. And could I combine some of the bills like I've got house? Oh yeah, I could combine those credit cards together. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this pinky color right here you can see that's I take up all the space there and then um and then what did I say oh yeah right here let's do foil Friday but I'm gonna do it on this other fun little weird box I don't know what they're called these because they're I don't know micro boxes or something I'll do a little off center so it's kind of overlap like overlapping the box or something that's fun okay um, so yeah, that's for Foil Friday. So be sure to check out Cozy Paper Co. for Foil Friday for some amazing deals. Um, so then for Saturday, let's go ahead and scoot up. So on Saturday, my son has bowling. He bowls, um, for Little Kids Junior League. So I'm going to use my bowling icons from Magic Prince Co. And let's go ahead and use, <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, let's use this. I know I said I would avoid these, but you know what? I kind of want to use them anyway, because why not, right? <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to use the flags, I think, so it'll help tie them together. Um, so we've got bowling in the morning, and luckily I don't have to work. I usually would work on my part-time job on Saturdays, but we are closed up for the rest of the semester, and we will be opening again in the spring. Well, in January, <laughs> that's the spring semester. Okay, so he's got bowling. Ow, I just stabbed myself with a pen. Then I need to do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a full, uh, uh, what is this, snowflake checklist, and I'm gonna use a to-do sticker too, because I have too much stuff to do. 
Um, let's just put that here. Okay, Saturday. Also, I gotta figure out, I thought I had planned something, but I forgot what. Let me see, this is one, two, three, four, this is crooked. One, two, three, four, five, six, is it seven? It's starting playing a trick on me. Yeah, it's seven. And I've got to do meal planning, editing, cleaning, my nails, uh, oh, YouTube comments, and I gotta check Amazon and Disney for like my subscriptions. So that's technically six things, but if I separate Amazon and Disney, then it could be seven. So perfect. I'll just leave those as the way they are. Um, also, I feel like the ending is what keeps going off. There we go. Okay. So we're doing all those things. Um, oh, I have nails. So let's just go ahead and put a little, little nail icon on here. I usually do that at the end of the night. So I'll put it like down here for nails. And then that's from Cozy Paper Co. in Hollow. Because I don't have silver. Oh, and then I forgot to write in here, darn it. We're going to be doing something something um, Christmassy. So either it's going to be like, like I said, going to the parade. I don't know if I mentioned in this video because I've already filmed three videos today. It's either going to be going to the parade or we're going to be like mm, <clears throat> going um, to the cactus garden, the Ethelm cactus garden, something. I don't know what. So I'm just going to put it in here because um, I have, to, I know there's a ton of stuff that I plan on doing for Fridays and Saturdays. Which I forgot to save space on Friday for, but I don't know if we're going to do something Friday. But if we are, I'll just put it down here. So that we're doing something because we're going to have family night Sundays for the next, uh, this week and then this week. And then not this week because obviously Christmas over, you know, by the time this week, weekend. But this weekend and this weekend we will be doing Christmassy things. So I'm going to leave that there because I don't know what yet. Um, and then moving on to Sunday. So first up, I have this weekend banner I want to use it's quite small so um I think that I'll just like put it right here even though it's you know I mean I could put it in the middle down here but I don't like the like orangey color um next to you know the pink I guess so whatever we'll just put it right there oops it's going over like a tiny bit so I am gonna cut it just a smidge I might have cut my planner too, but oh well. Okay, so anyways, so that, okay. So now we've got to go buy food and do our meal prep. So um, let's put that at the top of the day. Let's go ahead and use the mittens because they are so cute. And it's far, far enough away from um, the box down here on Thursday with the mittens. I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> this box has got the mittens on it too, so we'll put it all the way up there. And I do have a, um, since those, I kind of put those things hand in hand because it's buying food and then meal prepping. I have a meal prepping sticker by Aurora and Avalon Creations, um, the same shop from the Moon Tracker. So I will put it down here, meal prep. And then for the food, I'm going to write that in. But I'm gonna use this adorable shopping cart from The Giving Girl because they're silver foiled and they're beautiful. And what color do I wanna use? This is the cashmere colorway. It's so beautiful. I could use this grayish tan, but I could also use a pink and I kinda of wanna use a pink, so we're gonna use a pink. I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna put buy food. Look at how freaking cute. And then the mittens are there too. This is just a fun box. <laughs> so then let's see what else. We're going to have our family night. So I'm going to put in a movie marquee uh, because I like to mark family like um, night with putting down, you know, what movie we watch because we always watch a movie. So I'm going to use this like light um, <clears throat> gray movie marquee from Sticker Insanity. And I'm just going to put it way at the bottom of the day there because that's, you know, almost the last thing that we do. Um... Okay, and then I need to plan with my son. So I'm gonna use, I wanna use this um, quarter box with the bow on it from, this is my freebie with Sticker Insanity. So this is the freebie you get when you mention my name. 
Um, you get it's, it's a pink overall theme because pink's my favorite color. So you get the movie marquee, the little busy to do guy because you know I'm usually really busy. I work six days a week, um, and then you know a vacuum because you know cleaning. And then I love tea, so I've got the tea with the little cat in it. It's so cute. Bow dividers, I love bow dividers. And then you know just RX, you know crock pot functional stuff. So um, I want to use the cute bow quarter box because I feel like there's a lot of kind of bow stuff going on here you know because even two little bees has got little bows in her things and we've got bow clips and you know just I love everybody loves bows I love bows so I'm gonna put that in there and that's for planning with my son but I also want to use this cute planner um there's one right here from two little bees which is really cute but it's like really big and so I found this one that is so adorable it's um a freebie that I got from Hello Petite Paper um, I believe I got this from the Rose and Tea Shop, like, they did, like, a Sailor Moon, um, planner thing, and had a lot of samples from other shops and stuff, so I think this is where this came from, and I think that that planner is just adorable, and I'm gonna put it right here. I plan with my son weekly in his own little Bloom Daily Planner. He's a Bloom boy, um, and, you know, he likes planning like mommy with stickers, <laughs> and I help him, you know, it helps him to keep himself organized with, um, you know, he's got a lot of stuff to do. He's got tutoring, he's got soccer, he's got choir, he's got bowling on top of homework. He's, he's a busy boy. So planning helps him and he also has mental disabilities. So planning really helps him to kind of keep it all, keep it all in one place, keep it together. So let's zoom out and see if there's anything else they want to add or change or do. So hang on. Um, the colors aren't totally cohesive again, because there are some kind of browns and oranginess, but I'm not too, I'm not really mad about it. It doesn't look that bad. I actually didn't even end up using any of these. Um, cause I, you know, ended up using like the small ones and stuff. It was, it was enough. Um, I brought these out to layer with from the giving girl. They're so pretty. I was going to use these like gray ones and then these are just clear, which I might use like throughout the week as I add things in because I'd never leave it totally blank like this. I always fill in with the stuff that I did throughout the day. So um, I'll, you know, fill in these blanks. And so I might use those later, but um, I can't really think of anything I want to use them with. Why is this so crooked? Um, for right now. So I'm just like scraping the foil off as well. Um, yeah, I don't know why that was so crooked. That was weird. Anyways, Okay, let's take a look. So what have we got left? So I've got a sleep in um, and then this like weird box. I don't know. And um, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of like a scalped quarter box. And then a checklist from two little bees. I've got um, a few pieces of deco, a couple quarter boxes, this really thin thing. I like to use thin strips like this to cover the dots sometimes instead of whiting them out. So that's neat. Um, and then I've got three of those bow headers, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. Um, and then I've got the flags. They're so big though. I'm kind of considering, do I really want to use these? I do not want to cover up this baby. It's cold outside. It's so cute. So, um, actually what I'll do instead is I'll put it way up here and make them way smaller. So it covers a little bit, but not a lot. Cause these are just way too big. This one's really cute though with the little heart and the mittens. So I don't want to cover the heart, but look, look, it, it just covers up Sunday. So I'll just do that and I'll just have to cut off the heart. Um, so I'll cut those. Anyways, I've got a snow day, which I will never use because it never snows here, like once every 10 years. Um, a few pieces of deco today and to-do, which I don't know what to do with. Um, headers I'm probably not going to use, probably not going to use that, never use habit trackers. I will probably use this, maybe on this side somewhere since I've got this on this side and then that way the greens kind of tie together. This looks crooked too. Why is this crooked? Okay. Um, and then I've also got some icons, which I could use. See, I could have used that shopping cart, but I wanted to use the given girl. But, um, no, there's some functional stuff I could use here. I could totally use the fork and knives. I could use the laundry. Bows are good for anything. Um, I don't really watch TV, but I could definitely use it for, like, if we're watching, like, a movie or something, Netflix. I don't know. Anyways, those are cute, so I'll definitely use those. Um, let me cut these flags off and then I'm going to use a little, you know, my usual little strip of washi up there that I love to use up there for some contrast. I found this one, which I think actually matches very well with the colors in this kit, but I don't know. It's a vertical bow, so it's kind of cute. You can use it like a little checklist if you want. And I don't know how it would look. 
like sideways like that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do a mix mat, a mismatch. Sometimes I'll do like one on this side and then one something else separate on this side. And I kind of like the way that looks. So be right back. I'm going to quickly uh, cut the flags off and then I'm going to um, fill out my planner because I know some of you like to see what it looks like after I've kind of filled it in with the pen. So I do just kind of speed it up and fill that out with a little music. I hope the music doesn't bother you guys. Please let me know in the comments if it does because I try to make it cute and themed sometimes towards like, you know, the holidays and stuff. But then I did recently get a comment on another video where they were like, oh my God, the music's making my ears bleed. So I was like, oh, sorry. So please let me know if you feel that way. If you do, like, I would really appreciate you telling me. I'm not gonna get offended. I would rather you tell me so that way I can, you know, take it out if it's like <laughs> really bad, um, then that way I know not to use it. So yeah, please tell me, I'm not gonna get offended and be mad. <laughs> I just appreciate your honesty. So anyways, like I said, I'm just gonna quickly speed it up and then I will show you the finished thing after the pen. So hang on one sec. <laughs>
All right, here we are after the pen. Um, with everything so far filled in, and that looks so bad. I started writing pre-plan because I saw the bow and, you know, my brain automatically thought pre-plan, but then I was like, this isn't for pre-planning. Um, and then over here, you saw I tried to hand letter. I tried to use my, um, what is this? Tombow uh, brush pen. Uh, I think this is a soft version. No, 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 this is the hard version. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's why I don't hand letter. That's why I faux hand letter. So that was a mess. Um, I used my usual Pilot G2 in 05, and then I also used a Pigma Micron, but this time in 03, and I used that for writing on the pa the uh, the stickers, and I used the Pilot for writing on the paper. Except at the end here, I kind of forgot the switch, and I just started writing with the Pilot. It doesn't really matter. Um, I can write with either one on either the paper or the stickers, but I don't know. I just kind of like to give it a little bit more of an effect, you know? That's why I do the hand lettering sometimes is because, well, the faux hand lettering is because I like to give it a little bit more of an effect. Friday, the, the weekend is always for me is just crammed with stuff. So, but I do fill it out as I go along day by day with what happens like I like I said um anyways I hope you enjoyed this this plan with me <laughs> and um please give it a thumbs up if you did it really helps me out and helps out my channel um be sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see some up close shots of these uh of the spread and I will show you know what I fill it in with um as we go on through the week and um be sure you're subscribed if you're not already but you'd like to see more videos from me because I make these plan with me's every week and um, I hope that you comment down below if you have a question about anything or just to say hi because I'll say hi back. I love to talk to everyone in our community and I always respond. Um, I do have all these shops linked down below. Oops, I forgot to write Foil Friday. Um, so if you do want to like check these shops out and um, you know see if you want to buy anything or whatever, um, then I do have these shops linked down below as well as any discount codes that I have or like referral links to save you some money. So be sure to check down there if you want to, you know, check it on any, check out any of these shops and maybe I'll save some money too with my stuff anyways. But yeah, please subscribe, like, comment, and I hope that I see y'all in next week's video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and take care.